Hi game devs, here's the next Godot tutorial in which I show with Godot 3.0 Beta 2 how to set up a basic 3D scene. First I start Godot and create a new project. Now as default you have a 3D viewport and as in 2D we will create a root object for our scene and for 3D development this is a so-called spatial. So I add this and call this root and you have a 3D gizmo for your object to transform it and for the different operations like move, rotate and scale you can use the shortcut keys Q, W, E or R. The next object that I'm going to add is a 3D camera and I find it under spatial and this object you need in every 3D scene. Once I edit the camera you can see in which direction it points to and I move it a bit backwards and rotate it like that. Ok, now it's time to add some meshes that you will actually see and in Godot 3 you can add mesh instances and what's new is that you can select primitives like cubes, spheres or planes, you can see these meshes here in the drop down. Let's select a plane mesh and it is added to our scene now, then I rename this to plane, then I move it a bit backwards and scale it up. Ok, but to get a preview on how this will look like through the eye of our camera, you can first split the viewport by using the view menu or you can just press Ctrl and 2 and then with the camera selected press the preview button and you get a preview in the upper viewport while you can still edit your scene in the viewport below. So this is really useful. Now we'll add another mesh instance and this time I'm going to add a cube. So the same procedure, add a mesh instance and then select a cube mesh. Again move and rotate it and you can see here I always have a hard time to scale down the whole object in the editor. So I use the inspector here to scale it down to 0.5. Alright, now let's play the scene, but first we have to save it and I call this test 3D. Ok, this doesn't look bad, but I will adjust the camera, move it a bit backwards. Yes, that's better. And the next thing that I will do is to add a so-called environment for the camera. When I add this, it is just black. So set the ambient light of the environment to a light grey. But the scene still looks flat and unlit and this is just because we didn't add any lights yet. So let's do this and add a directional light. Now the light is added and I rotate it to see which angle of the light illuminates the scene well. And once I found a nice angle for the light, I turn on the shadows and set the shadow color to a dark gray tone. Ok, now let's hit the play button and here's our first 3D scene. Not bad. And now you could go ahead and optimize this, add a different tone mapping for the environment of the camera. Enable screen space, reflections, ambient occlusion, glow, there are many options but I will explain these post-processing effects in one of the next Godot tutorials. So guys stay tuned, I really hope you liked this video and if you like my channel then please don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the next tutorial is online. Thanks a lot for watching this and thanks for your support, perhaps you consider supporting me on my Patreon and I hope you come back soon to JNM.